All right, here we go. Our OAC 45 pounds, Division Two. We might have our first two here, maybe. And there it is. Red with his first two, looking for the quick fall here in the finals. Climbs on top. But Piking got a bounce, get a fresh start right there. It is minute 11. Minute 11 left to go. First period. Red already up 4-0. What a nice tight waist on top. Keeps re reassuring his tight waist there. There's a nice arm bar. Looking for that far wrist. Looking to put the shoulder in the ear. Green's going a good job fighting it off. Got 46 seconds left to go early in this match. The Reds really taking control. Gets that arm bar out of there. Red goes right back for that arm bar. Big chop gets him flat. Reinforces it underneath. He's got 24 seconds looking for a stack. Going, looking for a double arm bar, cup in the shoulder. 13 seconds, he's gonna get some backs, he gets a two count. Green has got a heck of a bridge going. Not gonna get a fall here for sure, but he does get the three. Time's gonna run out, it's gonna be seven nothing going to second period. Red comes out like a ball of fire. So in the green, we got Nolan Fraley, and in the red, we got Jack Brock. We start the second period neutral. Red going right back where he left off. Goes up 9-0. Looking bow and arrow cradle here. Goes to something else. Staying on that cradle. Green just holding on for dear life. Can't say I blame him. Got to keep his head up. He's looking to get stacked. We're 9 nothing. One minute left to go in the second period. Red totally has control of this match. And again, this is Jack Brock. Looking bundle. Nothing gives. Your attention, Daniel Maurice and Jared Winans. Please report to section 212. Daniel Reds come out of the ball of fire since this match started and controlled this whole match so far. Two and a half minutes in. At 30 seconds left to go to the second period. Green slowed the pace down a little bit, but he's, he's got to get something going. There's a stall call right there in green. 17 seconds left to go. So this period is going to end 9-0. And that's going to do it for the second period. we got one period left. Jack Brock. Jack Brock. Looking to be a state champ. Goes right back on the aggressiveness. Goes right back to that cowboy. Puts himself a little bit of bad position. Readjusts. Gets the two. Looking to sag his weight back. Ref might go stalemate here. I don't know if anything's going to happen out of this. Green has himself in a better position. Potentially dangerous there. We're 11 0. One minute left to go. Green's going to go injury time. Red Jack Brock has controlled this whole match from start until now. And then he wrestles out a team prodigy, Big Willie Weinberg, Fairfield, if I'm not mistaken. Division I, four-time state champ. That always helps.
over here in the green. Green must be a Dodge Knight out of Columbus. Got Mr. Yetz there in his corner. Yetz originally from the Steubenville area, my hometown. Minute four seconds left, 11 nothing. Red controlled this whole match. And Coach is just looking for, for Green to just end this thing on a positive note. Stay off his back. Don't get tech fouled. Keep his head up. Keep working hard. 45 seconds left to go in the match. Goes back to that arm bar. Looking to put the shoulder in the air. And it's in there. Again, Green goes back to that crazy bridge. Don't think he's going to pin him. 30 seconds. He's going to make it 14-0. They go back over. Jack Brock, very, very controlling performance here in the state finals. OAC state finals are no joke. 15 seconds. Looks like this match is probably going to end 14-0. Prodigy's Jack Brock dominating performance. And there you have it, Jack Brock, our first state champ here on match six, wins 14-0. Hey, what's your guy's name? Uh, Carson. That's Carson? Atkins. Okay, thank you.